Hey, it's uh, me, Kevin, here with uh, Wheat and Vapor, and we've got a cool new product we just got in today. It's the uh, Infinite Box Mod. See here, we've got um, the Zero Mod. It's sandblasted, stainless steel. Uh, it's a real powerhouse. It goes from 7 to 30 watts. It's got the DNA uh, chip in it. This comes in a nice gift box. It feels real sturdy. Uh, matter of fact, it kind of feels a little heavy, and you'll see why here in a second. When we open it up, we've got a great uh, bag here. Holds the mod. Feels nice leather. It's got an imprint of the, uh, the name on it. Looks real nice. They've included uh, some instructions, and you can see pretty, pretty standard here. One thing I note is it uh, looks like it's got a uh, resistance there of um, 0.3 to uh, what some people have said uh, up to about 3 ohms. So 0.3 to 3 is sort of the, uh, the range there. What I sort of like about this right off the, the bat is that it's got a pass-through charger. goes right in into it. So you can put your... Uh, 18650 battery in it and then use the UBS style port here to charge. You can see here you've got a charging light on, let you know when it's done. Um, kind of interesting, a 510 connector, a floating head, and it's also got an adjustment there for that. Got another screw here on the bottom, and then uh, that's for that. Now, how to open it? I was trying to think of you know, take these screws off or do something like that. Actually, no, you just got to grab it and pull it apart. You can see how it's a little wider and it does a nice friction. Friction there, so that's uh, kind of a neat way to do it. Um, Sort of a wood fiberglass sort of feel and material here to it. it feels really heavy. I think uh, on the scale it's putting out about uh, eight ounces. Uh, the key here is to adjust uh, your pin that holds your uh, your battery in place, and also you can reach in there and adjust your pin. Let's go ahead and put a battery in it. So uh, I'm just using a standard E-Fest uh, battery. What I kind of like about this is with the regulated ones, you're probably a little less concerned about what type of battery you're putting in it as compared to a uh, mechanical mod. So that fits real nice and tight, feels good. Probably just a half a turn or so here to set the battery completely tight. That's it, just right there. It fits real nice, feels real good in the hand. Fits in there tight, feels good. Put it back. So we've got a sandblasted, uh, laser etched, and uh, you can see right here that stainless steel all around. Feels real nice, real heavy in the hand. And just sort of feels like that. The buttons feel real nice and clicking. Uh, so when I come over here, Let's look here, one, two, three, four, five, turn it on. Uh, first thing you notice is that the buttons are recessed. You can see how flat they are, so in your pocket or jacket, they're not gonna change. And uh, let's see here, wow, that's pretty good. That's speeding its way down to seven. That's real nice. Now, um, we're probably about 24 millimeters here, so I think you're going to find that the Nautilus and the Kanger sub tank are going to fit in just a little bit inside. And so when you put it down on the table or wherever else, your tank isn't going to bang. You know, so your tank isn't sticking over and going to bang on the table. So it's just a little bit on the inside here. 
I think that makes it look real elegant. Now, let's look at how the buttons work. Of course, you have your up and down, your fire button. All right, so let's go ahead and let's click it five times. We're put a lock. Let's go hit the, the lower button. And it's got right mode. Hold it down again. Left mode. That's kind of nice for those. Uh, hold that the top button. All right, and that's uh, stealth mode for the screen. So the whole idea is that uh, if you don't want it light the the screen to light up. You can turn the screen off and still vape with it. And it simply turns back on. So right now you'd be vaping on it. And then just simply push it down again. And it'll come right back up. Down. screen display and we're back to showing the screen so I guess that'd be good for a movie theater or something like that and if you'd like to see this in person and get one for yourself visit us at Westfields Wheaton Plaza in Wheaton Maryland or on the upper level next to uh, JC Penney and the food court or you can find us on the web at wheatonvapor.com.